Australia's response is immediate. When war broke out, I was all excitement and longed to go and try my luck. So I wrote down to Sydney and then impatiently waited for a reply. Like thousands of young men across Australia, 24-year-old farm manager Archie Barwick from Tasmania can't wait to sign up. I was almost afraid to open it for fear it might say that I was unsuitable. I think I threw two or three somersaults when I finished reading the note for I was full of hope and joy for the great adventure and all sorts of wild notions in my head. There's no doubt that Australians were enthusiastic about the outbreak of the Great War. We see 50,000 men enlist in that very first year. We hear Rural Britannia being sung in the streets. We see people waving Union Jacks. There is a kind of euphoria about the outbreak of the Great War. There's a sense that this is an amazing opportunity for these boys to get off farms, to get out of factories, to leave their boring, routine, rural, manual, unskilled jobs behind and have an adventure. Archie's brother, Len, also answers the call. My dear sweet-faced old mother and my dear grey-haired old dad will be waiting in Australia to welcome home their land. We must defend the safety of Australia. That is our children's heritage. For 36-year-old Boer War veteran Harold Pompey Elliott from Northcote in Melbourne, the decision to enlist is rooted in a sense of duty to defend his country and his family. Without our great effort, Australia's rising sun, the badge of its armies, may well be quenched in blood. The cheerful homesteads around us lay desolate. Our wives, our mothers and our sisters dishonoured or slain before our eyes. Attention! 